Let's all meet on our mat, coming to a seated pose. Any seated pose that's comfortable for you right now. Just gonna come to an easy sitting posture. Let's close our eyes. And start with a short seated meditation just to enter our practice and connect with our bodies in the present moment. Being aware of your breath. Feeling a nice tall posture here. Make sure you're not slouching in the shoulders or leaning too far forward and back. You want to feel nice and centered and tall in your seated pose. Let's bring our hands to our ribs for a moment. And do a short breathing practice. Just focusing our breath in the rib region. Feeling the movement and the flexibility of your rib cage opening and expanding and then contracting and returning towards the center. See if it's easy for you to really open your ribs up outwards instead of up. Because normally we're comfortable with sending our breath in the direction up, but let's try to expand more outwards and really feel the ribs opening up towards the sides and back to center. Move your fingers around your rib cage while you continue to breathe. Feeling the muscles in between every rib, also expanding and moving. The muscles of your abdomen region. Everything expanding and contracting. It's the same thing with every muscle in your body. In this flexibility centered class today, I really want you to think about this movement in your muscles expanding and contracting, stretching and returning to its base position. Working on the elasticity of our muscles today. And slowly release the hands back down to your legs. Let's circle the neck. Super important to release. Any tension in the neck that's connected to your shoulders, and today we're going to work on the flexibility of our shoulders as well. So everything that's connected matters too. Change direction. Really go deep here, feeling the whole movement of your neck, seeing if there's any blockages or tension anywhere. Just breathe through it. Let's lift our right hand and place it on our left ear. Coming to a gentle side bend in the neck. Lateral stretch here on the left side. Try to maintain this nice long posture. One more deep breath. And change sides. Left hand comes to your right ear, overhead. Slowly pressing, not with too much pressure. Just really using the weight of your hand to go deeper into this neck stretch. One more deep breath. And release the hand. Inhale, the hands come up. Grab your right elbow with your left hand. Coming into a tricep stretch here, stretching the bottom part of your upper arm, the tricep region, as well as the shoulder. Good 
Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, the hands overhead. Exhale, let's bring them behind your back and interlace our fingers. Pulling the fingers down towards the ground, opening the chest forward, coming into a heart opener, shoulder stretch combo here. Look it up if that's comfortable. Really pulling the arms away from the body here. It shouldn't be just resting up against your body. They're active arms pulling away from the body. Inhale, the hands back up. Exhale, bring them in front of you, palms together, and push your hands away as far as possible from your body. Almost like in a cat pose on a tabletop where you're arching your back, but just doing this in a seated position with the arms forward. Really spreading the upper back outwards. Getting a nice deep stretch here to the upper back region. Slowly release. Let's bring the hands outwards to our sides, palms open, fingers spread apart widely, thumbs are facing up. And we'll just start turning the hands down, bringing the thumbs towards the ground and bringing them up and open. Just twisting from the shoulder joints. This is more of a bicep stretch now, working on the front side of the upper arm. Slowly release, let's come to a tabletop. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Spread those fingers widely, get a nice grip on the ground. We'll come into cat-cow, but let's start really slowly and then we'll move more fast later on. So just really slowly, starting to tilt the belly towards the ground and starting to look up with your head. Inhale. As you exhale, pushing on your hands, pushing on your legs, arching the spine up, just like we did in our stretch right now, in that upper body stretch in a seated pose. It should feel something alike. Inhale. Cow pose. Exhale. Cat. One more in a super slow, Movement, really warming up the spine here. And starting to move just a little bit faster. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. There are many yogi quotes that say flexibility in the spine is the most important flexibility you can work on the more flexible your spine is the younger you stay <laughs> so it's super important to really just move around the spine keep it nice and bendy and flexible let's move a little bit quicker here now inhale up exhale down inhale up Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Coming back to center, let's add a bit of circular movement here. Just circling around the spine, getting this juicy spine mobility action here. And add whatever extra funky movements that you like. Maybe adding in the shoulders and the head, the hips. Just wiggling around the spine in one direction before we switch sides. And 
Let's change sides. As if you're cleaning out your favorite jar of whatever sweet topping you love, maybe Nutella, maybe any chocolate spread or peanut butter or jam, just swooping out the whole jar with your spine, cleaning it out. From here, we'll come onto our toes, lift up our hips, come into our first downward dog. Already, just this pose is an amazing posture to work on your flexibility and your full body, working in the shoulders here, the spine, the hips, the hamstrings, the ankles. Just take a moment to walk it out, maybe walking out the leg, maybe shaking out the hips. Just letting the muscles warm up before we go into more deep postures. Hmm. Look forward, step, step, step towards the front of your mat. And inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Take one deep breath. Inhale, the hands come up again. Exhale, come down towards the ground to a forward fold. I'm gonna do a variation here that I like to practice, really making sure that we're working more from our hamstrings than from our back. So bend the knees as much as you need so that your belly touches your thighs. Once your belly is touching your thighs and your chest, as much as possible, keep this connection, bringing your head back down towards the ground and just work from here to straighten the legs. It's probably much harder to keep those legs straight now that we're working more just from the hamstring flexibility and less from curving our back. So you can use a little movement here, just bouncing in the knees. Or you can hold it statically and breathe deeply. Just really try to maintain this upper body connection to your thighs so you know you're working just from the hamstrings. Hmm. Take one deep breath and try to go a little bit deeper with your straight legs. You can do it, just one more deep breath, a little bit deeper, and look forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're gonna bring the left foot all the way back, coming into a low lunge, drop that left knee. Inhale, the hands will rise up into Anjaniyasana. Make sure that knee is above your ankle. Hands are rising up. You can go as far back as you wish as your spine flexibility is comfortable going back. Let's take three deep breaths here. Drop the hands towards the ground. Lean back towards your back leg, coming into a half split. Splits. Flex that right foot, drop your head to your knee. Another three deep breaths. Lean forward, placing that right foot back on the ground. Bring your left hand right by it on the ground as well. Lean that right hand up towards the sky, leaning more on your left hand now, coming into a lunge twist here. Look back towards your right hand, three deep breaths. Slowly bring both hands to the ground now, coming to lizard pose. You can stay on your hands or go lower onto your elbows, getting a nice, deep, juicy hip stretch here. You can also go onto the top of your foot or stay on your toes in the back leg, whatever's more comfortable for you. Let's take five deep breaths here.
Come back up onto your hands. Bring that right leg back to a plank. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees and the chin towards the ground. Knees, chest, chin pose. Eight limb pose. Slide through to cobra. Inhale. Tuck the toes, down dog, exhale. Gonna lift that left leg up towards the sky and bring it in between the hands. Staying on your back right toes. Inhale, lifting the hands up, coming to a high crescent lunge. Make sure the hips are forward and your knee stays above your ankle. You should feel a nice deep stretch here in the hip flexor upper thigh hip region. Inhale, hands come up, look up towards your hands, three deep breaths. Start to lean forward towards your left leg, sliding that right leg forward and lifting it behind, coming into a standing quad stretch. Use your hands to grab your foot, and pull that foot towards the body, getting a nice deep quad stretch here. Thigh muscle stretch. Slowly bring your right hand towards the inside of your right foot, preparing you for dancer pose. Inhale, left hand comes up. Exhale, slowly start to lean forward and kick your right leg into your right hand. Working here on back flexibility, leg flexibility, and strength in the standing leg. Keep focused on a point that's helping you balance. One more deep breath. And slowly come back up. Bring that right leg all the way back. Inhale, the hands up, legs are straight. Exhale, hands to the ground, coming into pyramid pose. The hands will be on both sides of your left foot and your knee will slowly come in the direction of your, uh, your head will come in the direction of your leg. Trying to find that connection again. Hmm, should feel a really nice deep stretch here in the back of your left leg. Always feel free to take any variations you need, bending in legs to feel more stable. It's okay. Hmm. Bring that right leg to meet your left leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep that nice connection if you can, bending in the knees if you need. Inhale, rise up. Hand to hand, look up towards your fingers. Exhale, rest. Let's do it on the other side. Starting a little bit differently, gonna come into chair pose. Inhale, bring the hands up, drop your hips. <sighs> Take an exhale. Inhale, lengthen the right foot out in front of you, standing on the heel of your foot, and bring your hands down to your left thigh. Slowly starting to sit back in this half chair variation, half hamstring stretch variation on the back of your right leg. Three deep breaths. Bring the right leg back to center. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands down by your side. Inhale, left leg forward. Standing on the ball on the heel of your foot. Exhale, hands come to your right thigh and start sitting down in your posture, flexing in the left foot, activating the whole uh, hamstring. <sighs> Slowly bring your hands towards the ground. Bring your feet together, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Again, bend your knees if you need to. Try to maintain that upper body connection with your thighs. Hmm. 
Gonna bring that right leg back now, all the way, coming into a low lunge. Make sure you're stable here. Inhale, the hands come up. I'm Jamie Asana. You feel free again to open back your heart forward. Flexibility in the spine. Moving slowly with your breath. And slowly come forward onto your hands. Move your weight back towards your back right leg and flex and straighten your left leg. Inhale, look forward, long spine, exhale, head to knee, three breaths here and your half splits. Walk the hands forward. You can move that left leg out a bit more towards the side so you have room for your lizard pose, bringing both hands on the inside of your left leg. You can stay up on your fingertips or come down with me onto your elbows, going deeply into our lizard poses. Five deep breaths here. Really let those hips sink towards the ground. Inhale, come up on your hands. Lean your weight onto your right hand. Left hand up towards the sky, coming into a yummy, twisted low lunge here. Look up towards your left hand. Hand comes back towards the mat. Swinging that left leg all the way back into your plank. Inhale. Drop your knees and your chin towards the ground. Exhale. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Inhale that right leg up. And in between your hands, preparing your strong base, knee over the ankle, staying on your back toes and the left leg. Inhale, the hands come up. High Crescent Lunge. Again, you should feel a really nice deep stretch on the upper part of your left thigh. Inhale the hands up, look up towards your hands, three deep breaths. Bring your hands to heart center and slowly start to lean forward towards your right leg, bringing that left leg up front as well. Lifting the left leg, grabbing it with both feet, coming into a quad stretch, standing quad stretch. Catch your breath. Moving into our dancer pose, we're slowly going to bring that left hand towards the inside of our left foot by the big toe. Inhale the right hand up. And slowly start to lean forward, kicking that left leg into your left hand. Moving slowly, knowing if you need to go back up, you can. Just try to hold it as much as possible before you come down. Slowly come back up, inhale that right arm back up. And before you release your left leg towards the ground, you bring it all the way back as far as you can, preparing you for pyramid pose. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, lower head to knee, hands on both sides of your right foot. <sighs> Taking deep breaths here in your pyramid pose. Bring both feet together, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Last time, making sure you have this nice connection here. Inhale into your chair pose, bending the knees. Look up towards your hands. Exhale, rest. 
Beautiful. Let's open the legs. Coming into a yogi squat, we're gonna inhale the hands up. Exhale, lower down towards your seat. Real nice. Let's take a moment just to shake out our yogi squat, making sure we're real comfortable here in this juicy hip opening, posture opening, posture. Just adding movement here in the hip joints. However you feel is best for you right now. And coming back to center, bring the hands to heart. Knees in between your thighs and use this contra pressure to allow yourself to push off of your knees to open your heart even more. Lengthen in the spine, push the shoulders back. Let's take five deep breaths here in our yogi squat. Props here. 
you have, don't have the flexibility in your shoulders yet, you can stay on your elbows and just work from here, moving the elbows forward, but keeping the hips high and dropping the belly down. If you're okay and with me, hands are sliding all the way down, chest on the ground, chin on the ground. You can have your chin or your forehead on the ground depending on your flexibility. Let's take five deep breaths here in our puppy pose, really opening the chest region, stretching the shoulder. In a slight back bend here, working on our spine flexibility, and also stretching out the glutes. From our puppy pose, start to slide your knees outward, coming into frog pose. Now this is a bit of an intense pose, so just slide out as much as you can. And then slide your feet out so they're in line with your knees. Again, taking deep breaths here. With every breath, you use it as a tool to slowly sink in a little bit deeper into your frog pose. One more deep breath. And slide the knees back, closing the legs together. Just taking a moment on your belly. Rest your forehead on the ground and bring your hands back. Bend your right leg and grab your right foot with both of your hands. Gonna come into a half bow pose here before we go into full bow, which will kind of be like a standing dancer pose, but on the ground. So like we did before in our dancer pose, Let's try it now with a half uh, bow pose. Inhale, look forward, kick your leg into your hands and lift up. As high as you can, it doesn't matter how high it goes really. You should feel your quad muscle working extra hard here in the front of your thigh, kicking up into your hand, your back muscles, chest opening intensively with those shoulder openings here. One more deep breath, and release. Forehead back down towards the ground, release your foot from your hand, and let's switch sides, bending in the left knee, grabbing the left foot with your hand. Inhale, look forward, and start to lift. Half bow pose. Three deep breaths. Keep pushing, keep, keep kicking into your hand, And slowly release. Head back down towards the ground, release the leg, release the hands. And we'll come into full bow now, bending both legs and grabbing from the outside each leg with the same hand. Inhale, slowly rise up, look forward, kick your feet into your hands. Breathe deeply here. If you're breathing so deeply, you might feel that your body starts to rock. Just flow with that, keep rocking. Inhaling and rocking back, exhaling and rocking forward. Little bit longer. And slowly release, legs back down towards the ground. And let's turn onto our backs. If you have a strap at home or a belt or a scarf, feel free to bring that now. It will be super helpful to go deeper into your practice. Or if you don't have one, it's okay. You can still do postures. 
So let's bring our left knee towards our chest and just hug it for a moment, squeezing intensively, giving our knee a big hug. And flex in the right foot. Keep that flex in the right foot for as long as you can while we're on this leg doing stretches. Slowly start to straighten the left leg. If you have a strap or a scarf or anything like a strap, now is a good time to wrap it around your left leg. Get a nice grip. And you start to pull the foot towards your head. Remember to stay flexing in that right foot, keeping both legs active and strong here. If you're not with the strap, it will be the same thing, either grabbing your foot if you have the flexibility already, or grabbing your shin or the back of your thigh. And just keeping both legs flexed and active. Couple more deep breaths. Keep pulling the foot towards your head. Your body will allow it. With every exhale, your mind tells your muscles that you're okay. And there's more room to move immediately. If you're with a strap, bring it into your left hand and start to move your leg towards the left side, opening the leg out towards the side. Keep your right hand on your right hip, making sure that that hip stays on the ground. You don't want to tilt the leg up. Keep the lower back on the ground, keep the hip on the ground, and bring the leg out towards the side. Still flexing in both feet. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, you can bring the strap into your right hand and bring the leg all the way towards the left side, coming into a reclined twist, but with a straight leg variation. So we're still working on that hamstring muscle, but we're also in a nice deep twist. Look towards the left side at your left hand. And keep pulling that leg towards you, even though we're in a reclined twist and it's Mostly relaxing, we're still working here. Pulling the leg towards you, keep pulling. And slowly come back to center. Leg is straight up, let's take one more pull to the head, lifting the head up towards the knee as well. Flexing in the right foot. One more deep breath. And slowly release the leg, drop the strap, and switch sides. Taking that right knee towards your chest, hugging it real tight. Just warming up that hip joint. And straighten your leg. Again, feel free to use a strap or not to use a strap. You'll get the same results either way. I just like to use a strap. The leg is straight as much as possible, flexing in both legs, keeping the head relaxed now, still on the ground, and start pulling the leg towards you, towards your upper body. Breathing deeply. Notice how every exhale you take the leg will move even if it's just half a centimeter, it's moving, which is really important to note in flexibility practice. As long as you're breathing deeply, your body will have more space to go into postures. One more deep breath here, pull, pull, pull. Let's move the strap into our right hand. Opening the leg out towards the right side now. 
keeping that left hip on the ground. Inhale back to center. Bring the strap into your left hand and bring the leg towards your left side, coming into a recline twist, but with an added hamstring stretch. So look towards the right side, open your hand to shoulder height. Keep pulling on that strap or your leg. Keep that leg nice and straight, still working on this deep hamstring stretch. Slowly come back to center. Grab that strap again with both hands. Pulling it towards the head, this time lifting the head towards the knee. Three deep breaths. And slowly release the strap or no strap, release the leg. Back down towards the ground. Inhale, both legs up. And try to keep them really straight as long as you can. Trying to find this 90 degree angle just for a moment before we continue. Even here, working on our flexibility in the hamstrings, flexing in the feet towards the body, keeping the legs super straight. Even if you don't have this 90 degree angle, you can still try, even with bent legs and just really trying while keeping the lower back on the ground. Lift your hands up and see if you can grab your feet with your hands. You can use a strap here as well if you prefer. Let's come into this recline forward fold position. Really trying to keep that lower back on the ground while tr still trying to keep the legs straight. You can see even for me it's complicated. My hips are lifting up to keep those legs straight. So to keep my back on the ground, I might have to bend a little and that's okay. We all have different bodies. We all have different levels of flexibility and strength. Always find what suits you the best most important for me and for you guys here is that your lower back stays on the ground so if that means your legs are bent that's okay take one more deep breath here and then pull the feet to, towards the outside bringing the knee on the outside of your arms coming into happy baby also a really great hip opening stretch while still maintaining the lower back on the ground you can rock side to side here, adding a little bit of movement and back massage, as well as putting a smile on your face. It's called happy baby for a reason, right? Make sure those feet are in the direction of the ceiling. Bring both knees to your chest. Give yourself a really big hug here, hug your elbows. Everything squeezing intensely in complete flexion and compression of the body. And exhale into your Shavasana. Yay. Feet are as wide as your mat or wider if comfortable. Hands are by your side, palms facing up. Push the shoulders away from your ears and back down towards the ground, making sure they're super relaxed. Tucking the chin in towards the chest, feeling that neck a little bit more on the ground. Slowly start to connect to your breath and your body, entering this meditative state. 
in your Shavasana pose, the corpse pose. So important just to take these couple of moments here to let the body heal and be completely relaxed. If the mind is wandering, try to bring it back to your breath and your body. Feeling the belly rising and falling with every breath. breaths together, filling up the whole body and emptying it completely. seat, keeping the eyes closed, just feeling the movement here. <sighs> Finding that comfortable seat, feeling your circulation flow back down into your body. <sighs> feeling nice and stretched out. Shoulders completely open, hips, hamstrings. Hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.